Hi book lovers, it's Jetty at Julia Baby Jen and this is Friday Reads. Today is Friday, December 23rd. Merry Christmas everybody. It's officially, well in my view, Christmas. Um, I just got off work and I'm home for the weekend, so yay! I'm very excited. I'm really happy for excited for Christmas this year. More so than I normally am, I think. I don't know why. It's nothing special, but I don't know. I'm just in the Christmas spirit, so yay me. What I am reading this weekend. So, I am still working on a Patchwork Christmas collection, which is a series, well, just three books. Um, they're not related to each other. Uh, pretty short books. Um, light romance Christmas themed books. So I read the first two stories. The second one I really really liked and uh, the third one I still have one more story left. So I'm hoping to read that this weekend since it is Christmas and I need to finish up my Christmas reads. So I um, need to finish that. I am also started reading Vanishing Cornwall by Daphne de Marier. Not sure if I pronounced that right. Uh, that is the author of Rebecca, which I haven't read. I really need to read some of her stuff. But this is a nonfiction book she she wrote about Cornwall, where uh, she grew up and and had a home there. So this looks really interesting. So I've started it so far. It's really good. So I'll work on this a little bit. Once I finish this book, I will have finished my nonfiction goal for the year, which was to read nonfiction. 10 nonfiction books for 2016. This is the 10th one, so yay, I will make at least one goal this year. And then lastly, I have What Light by Jay Asher. I picked this up from the library because I wanted another Christmas book, and since it's Christmas this weekend again, I need to get it read. It looks like a pretty quick, fun, light read, so I'm excited to read this. So that is what I am reading this weekend. I don't know how much reading time I'm going to have. It just kind of depends on how much downtime I have. Um, as far as our plans go, we don't go anywhere really for Christmas because um, most of our, um, our immediate family is my parents who live eight blocks from me and then my kids and my husband. So we just all get together on Christmas Eve. We do a big shindig with our family and actually Allison's boyfriend will be there too, Tyler. Um, and we do like a soup supper type thing with chicken noodle soup and chili and like we have like meat and cheese tray and veggie tray and stuff like that. So we have just kind of a fun supper there and then we have Christmas cookies all night and we open all the presents. So we do our big thing on Christmas Eve. And then, so we'll go to my parents' house about 5 o'clock on Saturday to do that. Um, so for tomorrow, really all I have to do is bake the Christmas cookies. I am so behind. I've got all my shopping done, all my presents wrapped. I'm ready. I've got everything decorated, but I do not did not do any baking yet, which is really odd for me. Usually, I, baking is one of the first things I get done, and I haven't done it yet. So it's not going to be as much as I normally do since I'm waiting so last minute. I'm going to do a little. I'm going to make my sh sh cut out sugar cookies tonight, and then tomorrow we can decorate them, and then I'll finish all the rest of the cookies. And we're not getting too fancy this year, but we will have cookies for Christmas. We gotta have cookies. Uh, so that's really my only plans for tomorrow. So we'll see how much I get done on that. That will depend on my reading time. And then for Christmas, we'll go back over to my parent for my parents' house it's around noonish. We have a big Christmas Day dinner and just kind of hang out all day. So it's pretty low key. Um, there's only uh, eight of us now: my four kids, my husband and me, and my parents who live locally. Everybody else has moved away or passed away now, so we keep it pretty simple on the holidays. So that's really the only plans I have. So probably Christmas Day, usually I get a lot of reading done because they're, they're watching football or whatever. And yeah, I like to just be able to, to read my book. So anyway, I hope you all have a Merry Christmas. Uh, let me know what you're doing this weekend. I'd love to know. And I hope everyone has a good weekend. Talk to you later. Bye.